Today we're going to demonstrate an outboard skeg repair using second generation HTS 735. We've stripped the paint from the area using a uh, wire wheel and also cut the repair edge at an angle to accommodate more surface for the repair. We've also clamped in a steel backing. So now I'm just uh, heating and checking as I go. Just like striking a match, I'm checking to see if the aluminum is hot. And now uh, we've been heating for about three and a half minutes, and I'm able to lay the rod down very nicely. I'm just working the edge and tinning the whole edge. Notice I do not have the rod in the flame. Now I'm just going to build out the general shape that I need to do this repair. Once I've got a tin like this, I can just add rod in until I have the shape I want. I'm melting rod nicely. I'm pulling the heat up just a little bit. High enough that I'm maintaining temperature and still melting rod. And as I said earlier, I can just melt rod to rod. Very easily. This is the raw repair. It took just under 10 minutes and a little less than two sticks of rod. We're going to let it cool and we'll, then we will take it right, to the grinder. This has been cooled and I'm just taking the clamps off and you can see how the scraper that we use for a backing just comes right away from the material. And here's the, the back side. At this point we're ready for the grinder. Alright, so here you have, we have the finished product. You can see how it's just been ground just with a rough coarse grinding wheel and a wire wheel. So this repair took us about 30 minutes total with just a little under two sticks of rod saving you potentially hundreds of dollars and uh, time spent finding someone who could do this repair for you. Very simple to do. We did this outside. 730, it's HTS 735 second generation aluminum repair rod.